This is a 1000 watts PSU from MSI. It is ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1 compatible and it is the MAG A1000GL. In this video, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what comes in its box. And also I'm gonna show you its connections and what cable goes into what connection. And we'll be talking about its specifications. I'll be testing it using a dedicated PSU tester to verify the output voltage and also I'll be testing its noise levels. So let me start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. And this is everything you get in the box. You have the PSU, a power cable, all the required cables that we're gonna see one by one in a bit and a pouch to store in it the unused cables. I wanna show you now the cables and the ports and where each cable goes. The first connection I'm gonna show you is the motherboard connection and it is this one here and this is the cable for it. So this cable goes in your motherboard and these two cables here go here. The second cables I'm gonna show you are the CPU cables and the good thing about these cables is that they are flat and they are labeled. So you have two CPU cables in case your CPU is powerful and needs two connections. So where the cable is labeled CPU, it goes into the motherboard where it is labeled CPU and the other ends here will go into the CPU and PCI ports here, either this one or this one. And this is the most important and improved cable. So this cable is a 600 watt GPU cable and an ATX 3.1 it is improved and it is here 12 volts dash 2 times 6. In the ATX 3.0 standard, it was 12 VHPWR and it had some melting problems. And here I'm talking about all the brands of PSUs, not MSI PSUs in particular. And they improved it in ATX 3.1 to avoid these melting problems. So this one goes here. And the other end goes into your NVIDIA GPU that takes this kind of connection, like the RTX 50 series. Now you have two PCI cables in case you're using a GPU or any other device that uses still this kind of connection. So it is also labeled and where it is labeled, it goes into the device that is in your motherboard and the end that is not labeled goes into any connection that is labeled CPU and PCIe here. You have three SATA power cables and they go into these here. So it is labeled SATA and Molex. And you have one Molex connection in case you need it. And it goes in one of these here too. To cover the specifications, I'm gonna start by telling you what is different between a PSU that is ATX 3.0 versus a newer PSU that is ATX 3.1 like this MSI mag. There are two main differences. The first difference I already covered in the connections and it is the improved GPU power cable. And the second difference is how much time can the PSU maintain a stable output voltage in case of a variation of the input voltage. And in ATX 3.1, this time is 12 milliseconds, whereas it is 17 milliseconds in ATX 3.0. Now for the particular specifications of this PSU, it is 1000 watts 80 plus gold. It has 2000 watts power excursion. It means it can go up to two times its rated power for 100 microseconds if it needs to. And it has three times power excursion also for the GPU power. Its input is from 100 to 240 volts automatic. It is fully modular as you saw in the connections and it is ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1 ready. Its fan is 135 millimeters fluid bearing fan to reduce noise and at the same time to be efficient in cooling. We're gonna test the noise of the fan later and it has all kinds of protections that you expect from a high-end PSU like the over power protection, over current protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection and so on and so forth. You can see them all below. So now I'll be testing the output power of this PSU using this thermal take Dr. Power 3 PSU tester. The first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna connect the essential cables to the PSU. So now I'm gonna connect all the other ends of the cables to this Dr. Power 3. And here's everything 
connected. And it's like an octopus, it has connections everywhere. Of course, I'm gonna connect the PSU to the power now and turn it on. So this is the PSU turning on now. Press and hold the check button for five seconds. It will beep and it will perform the test automatically. This is a 24 pin and it is 12 volt, five volt CPU. It is also correct. In case there's a problem, it will light up red. This is a 600 watts PCIe 12V26. This is the SATA and this is the Molex. So the PSU passed all the tests and it is working as expected. Now I'll be performing the noise test of the fans of this PSU. And to do this, I disabled noise cancellation on my microphone. I'm gonna bring my microphone up close and then turn on the PSU and let the fan turn. So what I can tell you is this PSU is whisper quiet. I didn't hear anything at all. When you turn on and you turn off the PSU, you might hear a small clicking sound and this is normal because this is the uh, mechanism of the fan turning on and off. As you saw, the MSI A1000 GL PSU performed as expected and I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of its cable and by its quality in general and especially also I like that it's fun, it's not noisy at all. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.